Hi there. This evening I am going to be sharing some of my favorite true crime podcasts. I've been listening to podcasts for a very long time. I usually listen while doing something else, cleaning or organizing, even just going for a walk. I always, always have a podcast in my ears when I'm doing the dishes or cooking. And at the moment, I am really, really into true crime podcasts. So I've written six of my favorites. There are a whole bunch of others that I listen to, but these ones are really my favorites. When I go onto my phone, to try and find a podcast to listen to. I'm always happy to see that little green one appear next to this podcast. And it's Real Crime Profile. And I really love this podcast. There are three different people talking, like presenters, I guess. And they're very different and very interesting and very professional. Um, basically, they'll kind of pick apart a case and talk about the ins and outs of it. Um, I think they started with Making a Murderer, the Steve Avery documentary, and then they moved on to OJ and others, and the podcast is done by these three really interesting people. One is a guy called Jim Clemente, and he's a former FBI profiler. And he's kind of, I don't know, he's quite, he's very confident. I think he really knows what he's talking about, and he can come over a little, I don't know, like a little arrogant sometimes, but I don't mind that. Um, because he really knows what he's talking about, so it passes, it's okay. Um, then there's Laura Richards, who is British, and she's a criminal behavioural analyst, and, um, I think formerly Scotland Yard, and she's really interesting, and she does a lot of work with victims of stalking and abuse and things like that. Again, she really knows what she's talking about, very intelligent, very nice as well. And then there's an American woman called Lisa Zambetti, and she is the casting director for Criminal Minds, and she's really sweet, and she's kind of like, she's a bit different from the other two, it's almost like um, she's the interviewer, and like asking the questions, and the other two have the answers, but she, I mean, she's pretty intelligent, very nice, she just like, um, she didn't study profiling and things like that. But she's really nice and intelligent too. She just has a different, you know, a different view of it because she doesn't come from inside the FBI working on all these cases for years and years. So she has some questions that are more in line with sort of the viewer's questions or the listener's questions, I should say. But it's really cool. I really like it. I feel like I learn something every time I listen makes you think about behavior and people and relationships, things like that. I'm lucky enough to have never had to need the kind of advice that they give on this show, but I can see how it could help a lot of people and could maybe help me one day give some good advice to someone. So yeah, it's a really cool podcast. Um, I really like their voices and the way they talk to each other. You learn a lot. And it's a really good place to get recommendations too. Because they do talk about specific cases, but they also talk about documentaries and shows that have been done about these specific cases too. Like Making a Murderer, People vs. OJ, um, what else is there? moment they're doing the West Memphis 3 
it's pretty interesting. They also have like special guests from the FBI or experts. Um, often Jim Clemente's brother. I chose this as my first one to talk about because I think it's such a rounded out, like a well-rounded out podcast. I just really like the way they talk to each other and the things you learn. And it is kind of like that whole true crime entertainment side to it. These are not in any kind of intentional order. Um, this might actually be my favorite at the moment, but there's kind of like an ebb and flow to podcast listening. Sometimes you'll be really into a podcast and then another will come and eclipse it. You'll be more excited to see a new one from there. You know, just kind of flows differently depending on what kind of content they're putting out. But this one has been a pretty steady favourite anyway. So the second true crime podcast I'm going to talk about actually has somebody from the first one in it too. Um, and it's a, it's a newer podcast. And it's called Best Case, Worst Case. And it has Jim Clemente in it. And on the podcast, there's also a woman called Francie Hakes. And she's a former federal prosecutor. I think there's about nine or ten episodes so far. And I've been really enjoying them. Basically, each episode is an interview with somebody. They actually did themselves first, and then each episode from then, they have an interview with somebody else. And they talk about their best and worst cases, as you can probably tell by the, <laughs> the name of the podcast. But what that means is like, for example, for their best case, it could be a time where everything just fell into place and they really got the guy, you know, or they worked really hard and they solved a case that they didn't think they would ever be able to solve. Um, and then worst case is usually a little sadder and it's when the guy got away or the case um, really haunted them. You know, something that really haunts them. Like um, one of their first cases that they never solved. Or they did solve, but the system didn't get it right. That sort of thing. And it's a really, really interesting podcast. I would really recommend it. It's only on episode 9 or 10 right now. And the way they talk on the show, I think they have a lot of interviews lined up, so. Hopefully it'll be a long-running podcast. I like it because it's stories about cases, but like told from like the other side, if you know what I mean. It's not told like, um, usually like in documentaries and stuff, you'll focus on the killer or even the victim, but here it's really about the, you know, the police officer or the FBI agent and how it affected them in that time of their life. So it's really interesting. I really like it. So, number one was Real Crime Profile, and number two was Best Case, Worst Case. And number three is Serial. Um, if you listen to podcasts, you probably already know what Serial is. It's a very, very, very popular podcast. And it was one of the first podcasts that really, like of its kind, it was really amazing. And it was like a 12 episode long podcast about this guy called Adnan Syed, who is this young guy that got put in prison for killing his girlfriend. And the case was just really strange. 
there are a lot of people that are convinced that he's innocent and the 12 episodes really got right into the case um, Sarah Koenig, the one that's um, the presenter of it did a really amazing job and uh, in the podcast you actually hear her talking to him on the phone while he's in prison and it's a really like personal story at the same time as a kind of look at the evidence and the particulars of the case and it really it really blew up when it came out and the thing that was really like amazing about this podcast is that it actually made a real world impact on the case and because of this and other things obviously and the work of a lot of people this man, now man, who was a boy, now is a man, Adnan Syed is actually looking at getting a new trial a fair trial which most people are in agreement that he did not get the first time round even if like you don't necessarily agree with the fact that he is innocent you probably will agree with the fact that he didn't get a fair trial so it's a really amazing 12 episode podcast the second series was pretty good too definitely wasn't as good but it was still really good um, the second series was centered around Bo Bergdahl who is American soldier that was in Afghanistan and he wandered off post and was captured by the Taliban and he was kept prisoner for about five years you might have seen him in the news in the last couple of years he still hasn't gone to trial yet he's the guy that was released under Obama and Trump made a lot of comments about how he should be put in prison as a deserter and not everybody agreed with that the case is a little more complicated than just he is or isn't a deserter so it's really interesting but again, it's a real world issue that is happening right now and I think he's supposed to have a trial at the end of this year and it's been pushed and pushed because of Trump's comments it's a really good, really interesting podcast as well I think there's only 11 episodes in the second series but both are really amazing and really interesting and you can continue to follow the stories after the podcast is finished because they're still happening they actually have a really good website the serial website I'll link everything down below in the description um, that you can kind of follow along with what's happening while you're listening they'll have photos and pictures of evidence this kind of thing so while you're listening you can go and check some stuff out and during the second season they actually did updates about the first one too so it was pretty cool that was Serial which is probably one of the most well-known true crime podcasts so number four is actually made by the same people and it is called S-Town and it's very recent it has seven chapters or episodes if you like and as I say, it was made by the same people that made Serial and also This American Life and it's a very strange podcast it kind of starts out with this guy from Alabama called John B. McLemore who keeps phoning the offices of a guy called Brian Reed and trying to get him to come down and investigate this alleged murder and I don't want to say too much about this one because it really is a story that you need to hear as you go along all I can say is that it's a really interesting story 
and it really doesn't go where you think it's gonna go. Um, John McLemore is an interesting character, and I would actually suggest that you listen to S Town and then go and listen to the real crime profile episodes on the podcast and kind of get a different view of what's going on in certain respects. It's a really, really interesting listen. I would definitely advise binging that one. All seven chapters. I think I did seven chapters in a weekend, so I can't say too much about this one. I don't want to give any spoilers. Okay, so that was number four. I still have two to talk about. This video is actually getting pretty long. <laughs> I wonder if you're still awake listening to this. <laughs> okay, so number five is called Ear Hustle. And it's a very new one as well. Um, even newer than S-Town by a little bit. And it is actually a podcast done from inside San Quentin. Done by two of the inmates and there's a woman that comes to help out with it that's not part of the prison she's like a media person I can't remember her name but the guys that do it the most prominent one is Erlon Woods and then there's another guy Antoine Williams that's in it a bit as well and basically it's just stories from inside San Quentin actually only three episodes out so far, but it's really good. It's so good. I thought I'd just throw it in there. My prediction is that it's only going to get better anyway. So, the episodes so far have been really interesting. One of them was about, I think it was called Sally's, like cellmates, Sally's, and it kind of went into the whole system of how they decide who shares a cell with who. I was surprised by like a few things in that episode. Um, one of the things that surprised me was that they actually have a say in who they share a cell with. They can like ask each other if they want to be cellmates or not, which I mean, I guess it's, it's a good thing. I was just a bit surprised by that. Another thing that surprised me was that there is no racial mixing. Like, as a rule, they don't, like, mix races in the cells. And there was another one all about pets, which is just, like, I didn't even think about before. But you're not allowed pets in prison, obviously. But some guys kind of are inventive with this and have like pet spiders or roaches. Um, there's a guy in San Quentin that has actually had a rabbit that he found in the yard. Birds. Um, talking about spiders, he had a tarantula. Just like flies and just anything you can think of he's had. And that was a really, really interesting episode. Because I guess prison is still quite a mystery for most people. Well, it is for me anyway. Um, but yeah, I think it's going to be a really good podcast. Really good. And definitely worth a listen. And then last but not least, number six is called Crime Writers On. And then dot dot dot. And this one is another one of my proper, proper favourites. There are actually four people in this one. There's a woman called Rebecca Lavoie, who is like the main person in the podcast. It's her podcast. And then you have her husband, Kevin Flynn. Then you have Toby Ball and Laura Bricker. And all four of them are crime writers, basically. They write crime books or articles, and they're all pretty fun, nice people, intelligent people. It's kind of the same kind of 
format as the first podcast I talked about, but the people are a bit different. For example, they, they have a lot of experience and they know a lot of stuff about crime and things like this, but they never like worked for the FBI or the police department or anything like that. But they do know a lot from writing and reading a lot and stuff like that. So you can still get really interesting points of view. And they actually started um, as a reaction podcast to Serial. So they had like an episode for each episode of Serial talking about it. And it was really, really interesting. And since the Serial thing, they just kind of started following other podcasts and documentaries and series and stuff like that. This podcast is actually the best place, I mean the best place, to get recommendations for series, documentaries, and other podcasts about crime and stuff like that. It's just, um, they just chat, you know, they just kind of like all talk together about stuff and they all have different opinions about things and, I don't know, they're just... They're funny, they're fun, and they talk. You really feel like you're just kind of hanging out with friends, talking about true crime, and films, and series, and stuff. I really like it. It's really relaxing. So they were some of my favorite true crime podcasts. I hope that you enjoyed listening to this, and you got some good recommendations. Don't worry, all the links are in the description in case you have fallen asleep and you need the references later. <laughs> I hope you found this relaxing and interesting. I hope you have a lovely evening and I'll see you next time.